So hi everybody, welcome back to Living Between Paychecks Kitchen. I'm Oz, that's Jack. Hello. Letty's over there too. What's up? So, we're gonna do a <laughs> Texas Gulf Coast classic that I was taught years ago, by, probably by an old gypsy person who's done thing. I don't remember who taught me, but it's we're gonna do armadillo eggs. You're gonna enjoy this. Let's do this. All right, so we got some peppers. These are all uh, jalapenos, right? You really want the smaller ones, but we got the big ones, so we can show you what we're doing. Uh, one or two things of sausage, and two or, no, one or two things of the thing, uh, biscuits. Biscuits. And the, uh, what is that, cream cheese, yeah. Uh, use one of those, because and we got the you know, low-fat one, because I'm fat guy. And then we got a lot of spices. You don't have to use all this stuff. I do it just because we can, because the peppers are usually spicy enough. But we're going to go ahead and get into this. So get your knife. You cut off these, because nobody can eat the tips of the damn things. Mm. Um, Stem? Look, <laughs> look, I enjoy peppers. And like pepperoncini when it's been like pickled or whatever, you're fine. Yeah, use safer knife etiquette when you're doing this. Don't cut yourself. <laughs> I'm an idiot. This is why I get cut. I get you a spoon, and you're gonna scrape all that veins on the inside and the seeds out. And if you don't eat them. You can take them and compost them if you want, or whatever. Plant or more just seeds. Eat them for a snack. You know, whatever. Or you can plant them, recycle, whatever. Now, once you get it hollowed out, you get all of them done. Now you get your cream cheese. You're just gonna use the whole block, so you don't need to keep the resealable package. So just dump it out. Gloop. Yeah, don't want it frozen. It's going to be solid. And then take, we got our chili powder, uh, ground uh, red chili pepper. Yes, red. I put a spoon on here pepper. just to annoy Jack because it bothers him when the spices oh. are stuck to the spoon. Why, man? That's <laughs> terrible. And then we got some cayenne pepper. Uh, I've seen it done with all kinds of different, like, other peppers. I saw somebody that used a, uh, a jalapeno jam. Jam? Was in them? Yeah. Uh, the pepper lady out at the Renaissance Festival sells some awesome pepper-related stuff. And somebody had used some of hers and put it in the middle instead of the cream cheese stuff. Mm. Which, it was sweeter. It was nice. And then I added some black pepper just to say that I got extra pepper that's in there. Now, it takes a little while and a little bit of arm strength. You kind of break it up and mix it up and try to get the peppers all in there. <laughs> and it's solid, so just mash crap out of it. Have fun beating cheese for a bit. <laughs> Right. You get it mixed up and it'll turn this brownish color. So now once you get that, you just take it, scoop it, and you're gonna you stuff these things with this the cream cheese pepper medley. <laughs> yeah. Good luck. This stuff's not very. Oh, valuable. it's it's yeah, it's it's solid. Uh, the warmer it is, the easier it is. But you don't want warm cream cheese that much, especially if you're about to fry it. <laughs> so we just took all these and got them all. Stuff them, set them aside. Now, there's a couple of different ways to do this next part. So, once you get that done, all right, you're gonna. We added a serrano pepper too, just because we had enough stuff. Now, you get one of these things, uh, sausage. There's two different schools of thought, like I was saying. Is you can take the biscuits and make like two or three biscuits, make them together, and make like a bed, squish it up around it, and put some sausage on top. Or this is the way I was taught. But when you do it this way, that it doesn't always stick. When you do it the other way, it doesn't always stick. So we made a couple, and some that worked out perfect, and some that didn't, that separated a little bit. So we'll show you the difference. you got to experiment. So we put the uh, pork sausage. I think it was just spicy, regular pork sausage. And we got the uh, regular buttermilk uh, biscuits. Biscuits. It was the super cheap ones. They weren't the like flaky ones or layered or anything like that. It's like less than a dollar a can, I think, right? Right. It is. Uh, I think these were... 46 cents, 48 cents, something like that. So you just take a couple of these, pick up some of the sausages. Now your hand's going to get messy. And just kind of mix it up, tear it up. Man, that pork sausage is gross looking. <laughs> well, you know, if somebody ran you through a grinder, you'd be gross looking too, right? Mm. So just take it, mash it up, and you're going to make a big ball of this, you know, dough and biscuit sausage. And then we take the pepper, put it right in the middle, and just fold it over. That's good. Now, usually when you make a small, use a smaller pepper, and it makes a smaller one. These are some big old Texas size armadillo eggs. These were huge. We messed up. Oh, they <laughs> didn't mess ones. up. This is, it looks good on camera, and I'm a fat guy, so I ate them. I didn't mind at all. So we did some with this technique, and we did some with the others. Now, these here are the ones that are all mixed up. These are the ones where it's just layered on top. Uh so we're going to need oil. Use whatever kind of oil. I think it was two cups. So we started off with, we added, a, added like another, another half, half cup to, uh, to it once we pulled the first one out because it's very oil intensive. It's greasy. It is not healthy whatsoever, even though it's got vegetables in it. So once you pan it, you know, medium to medium high, you don't want it too high because you don't, you want it to bubble, not pop, right? So 
I get it in there, you can test it with a little bit of stuff and then just take and put it right in there. This is one of the ones where the sausage is on top, just the biscuits on bottom. Now you see it's bubbling, but it's not popping. Now it's gonna brown real easy because they're so heavy, they're gonna be resting on the bottom of the pan. You gotta move them around. So you're gonna have to keep rolling them that way. Uh, just because it'll be pressed up against the bottom of the pan, it'll cook first. Now, the closest one is one that we took and mashed it together. You see, we pull apart for that one biscuit. It starts to separate, but it's still stuck there. So it looks like that, so it's not bad. Now, this is one where it's just set on top, but I didn't clump it down on the edges, so that's where it looks different. Like, the rest look fine. You can see that brown color. That's what you're looking for. I needed to get it that dark brown to cook it all the way through. Because right, if you don't, the dough around that's on the inside won't cook. Now, see, this closest one is one we're talking about. I had that jalapeno. But other than that, you're done. Take them, uh, pat them down, get the grease off of them, serve them. You're ready to go. That cost us, I think, $7, $8 all total. The the sausage was uh, 2 3 bucks. I think it was the most expensive part. But the rest of it was relatively cheap. And uh, it fed me at least three or four different times. I think I still have one left because it was so big. Yep. I was eating them by the halves. So there you have it. And there you have it, our Texas size armadillo eggs. I hope everybody from out of state tries it. I hope everybody that's in state has either tried these before or will try them now. That'll be really cool. And let us know. And put it down in the comments. Ring the little bell. Like, share, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. And you can always find us on Instagram at Living Between or Facebook at Living Between Paychecks Kitchen or on uh, was it Patreon? Yeah, you can help us out if you really like what we do here. Give us a little bit every month to help us get this keeping along, and it would be awesome. You can find us over there at Living Between Paychecks Kitchen. And if you can't, you'll find it right here for free on YouTube every Tuesdays and Fridays. We'll see you next time.